Hello, welcome back to another embroidery video. So today I'm going to start working on a jean jacket. I figured I would show you some real embroidery, some embroidery in action, if you will. So I am doing a jean jacket for one of my best friends. She's getting married in a few weeks, so I'm on a bit of a time crunch. Um, I kind of put it off for a little while, but I'm hoping it will be a bit of a quick thing. So I'm going to show you the jacket. Um, I have some special tools that I've never used before that I'm going to be trying. And yeah, so I'll show you kind of start to finish how I'm embroidering on this jean jacket and it will not be finished today, but um, hopefully I can get this finished before her wedding in the next few weeks. So let me show you what we're working with here. Please pardon my dog and all of our clean laundry on the bed. Um, so this is what we're working with. This is the jean jacket and you can see it's kind of got this like bleached thing going on here and then it fades out. So this is my friend's last name after she gets married. And this is the font that we both decided on. Um, so I printed this out on some regular paper. And then this is kind of the area that I'm going to put it. But I need to use some stabilizer for this jacket. And this is the piece of paper I'll insert another clip just showing you like the information about this transfer paper. So what I'm gonna do is you can see this is pretty see-through. So I'm going to transfer her name onto this paper and then this will stabilize um, the fabric a little bit. So after I transfer it, I'll show you what we've got. Right, so here's what we have after I outlined it. This is the outline. And for future reference, I would definitely recommend just printing straight onto the um, stabilizing paper, but I didn't have that option this time around. So if you do have that option, it helps skip a step along the way. So what I'm going to do now is try to find a hoop big enough to fit this inside. If not, I'm going to have to stabilize these corners in place. So I might have to stitch them to the jacket with a little stitch, um, nothing too heavy because we don't want to keep it there forever. It would be something I would have to cut away. Let me just, okay, so I just, flattened out the jacket a little bit. Um, this is where I'm going to place the design. So now I need to stabilize it. Okay, um, we got that done. It took about 10 minutes, <laughs> that took forever, but it's done. So I found a hoop big enough. Um, I think I've got it in the right place that I want it. So what I think I'm going to do is start with the outline. This is more of like a calligraphy font where it goes thicker in some spaces and thinner in others. So I'm not sure how I'm going to tackle that just yet, but I'm gonna start with an outline. I might have to learn some new stitches to um, fill it all in because this is the first time I've ever done something like this, but We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Hello, it has been a few days since my uh, initial video about the jean jacket. Pardon me, I'm still not awake. <laughs> um, so I wanted to give you an update on where I'm at. All right, so this is what we've got. Not a lot, but making progress. 
Um, I haven't had a lot of time to work on it this past week, but I had pretty much the bottom line done and I just took about an hour to finish up the top line. So that's what we're looking at. I want to try and work on it for about an hour every day from now on because I only have a couple weeks left, like literally I think two weeks. And I have barely worked on it at all this week. So I wanna at least do an hour every day. That's why I just sat down for an hour and I only finished the top line. So I'm hoping to finish the outline of the last name in one week and then I can spend that last week filling it in hopefully I don't even know what stitch I'm gonna use to fill it in but right now I'm just doing a back stitch to do the outline so it's not too difficult it's just time consuming but we're making progress <laughs> hello quick update it has been a couple days since my last update so I want to show you where I'm at okay so I had plenty of time to work on the outline and I got that all finished with a back stitch. And then I cut away the rest of the um, paper, the stabilizer. And I'm starting to fill it in with a long and short stitch. This is my first time doing it. I see some gaps in here, so I'm hoping it's still going to look good on the jean material. Um, but we'll see how far I get. I still have a couple weeks before this needs to be finished. So hopefully I can fill everything in in time. Hey, Weston. Okay, it's been a few days. I'm eating dinner before my class starts and this is a progress update on the jacket. So the lettering is done. I think it's going to look good. It still looks a little crazy with the um, stabilizer, but what I went through and did is pick off as much as I could from around the letters. And then I have to soak it in, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it in my sink or in a big bowl with water until the rest of the stabilizer dissolves. So. After that happens, then I let it dry and then we can see how the lettering holds up. And then hopefully I'll be able to do some flowers like around the name here. So we'll see, we only have a couple days left. Okay, so I don't remember where I left off in my last video um, clip for this video, but this is what we've got going on. I didn't actually get to finish like putting the flowers on it, but this is how it turned out after I washed it and got all of the um, paper solvent out. And I think it looks really nice. I'm gonna lint roll it and pack it up for my friend to come get. So yeah, this is the finished look. This is how I kind of envisioned it or if she wanted like some like this. This is what I was thinking, but I, I don't have an iron to iron these on and I don't have time to sew them before she's got to come pick it up. So this is just like what I was thinking. So I might send her some pictures of this and she can iron it on, but I think it turned out really nice. Yeah, we don't even go the end. 